gonna talk about lower back. I'm gonna take this away. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'll just grab my mask. So, Ilya, he's complaining of lower back pain, and most people lower back pain. And clients come in, they say, "Oh, I have this pain up here," and just dig in there and just dig and release this muscle. It's not necessary. This sometimes we have the sacroiliac uh, torsion problem. So if I show you on the skeleton, JP, this is really really uh cool stuff the, i mean the body the, the human body so we have the sacrum which is attached with the si joints to this big ilium and of course ilium uh connected to the to, to the bone to the femoral bone and this is like hips and it's really important this balance and what's happening to us because we work different uh, we walk differently we may be sitting and you know leaning one side to another also sometimes we get injury uh, ankle injury maybe knee injury and what happened we start shifting our weight to more to one side to the other uh, like say we're driving that paddle all the time this leg is active all the time also we have a dominant leg so sacroiliac torsion it's a lot of stuff up there and if this is hip is not balanced and you walk or even do sport even do like a weightlifting or running you can seriously injure your uh, lower back i mean you have a lower back pain and it's many many reasons up there why we have lower back it's unnecessary to push on those uh, muscles this is a little tiny muscle up here called ql quadratus lumborum and uh let me let me show you on Ilya. This is what I'm trying to say. Uh, can you let it go your arms and look? I'm gonna place the hands right on this ilium. So I'm gonna find those anterior sacroiliac bonus right here, and that's little like a uh, like a, if I'm dump my hands, as you can you can find a little groove up here, and I'm gonna place my two fingers right in here on Ilya, and you'll see the difference. You'll see the JP actually perfect. The, the right side is a little bit off, but check check out on Ilya. So there we go. This is the anterior sacroiliac bone, and I place my hands and look at this. You see, I'm not joking. This is how it is. It's probably like almost inch. The left hip is high. Do it again. So what we need to do? We need to drop that uh, hip down because he leaned probably on this side all the time, right? You, you always step on this right leg, leaning. Maybe something happened before. So, okay, we're gonna go, and also what we, we can check, we can check if any, uh, like a lower cross syndrome or upper cross syndrome, and do we have any lower dose? And uh, he's pretty good with lower dose, but what we can see, he have a little bit, uh, he's actually pretty good. The hands go a little bit forward, but he's not bad at all. No, I would say, yeah, he might have a little bit lower dose. So lower dose is a lower cross syndrome, the, the, the anterior tilt of the hips, and guess what? The, the glutes has become a little bit weaker, the erector's muscle in the lower back has become really tight, also tight quadriceps and um, weak abdominal. It's like if you put the two lines up there, you can find out which muscle is weak and which muscle is tight. So lower cross syndromes, go go ahead guys, check this out. Uh, it's so many material up there, Eric Dalton doing that stuff. Uh, Tom Meyer, take a look. Uh, and Ilya gonna go on the table. Okay, so we, uh, Ilya on the table, and I'm gonna show you one more time this, uh, this is the first ilium bone, and this is the second. Ilya ilium bone. <laughs> so, and as you can see, the difference, like I said, it's almost my thumb. And I also feel a little bit uh, rotation in his spine. I will show you guys when we're gonna be face uh, face down. So I'm gonna do a little test up here for SI joint pain. If the customer come in and you just can push a little bit down there, they're gonna referral pain between uh, like in the lower the sacrum area. Do you feel any pain? Just where you're pressing. Ah, just when you're pressing, yes. It's because the bone, I probably push a little bit. Yeah, no pain. Yeah, no pain in the lower back. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna work on this uh, left side because 
this is what we need to focus on and this is how we guys do uh, we work on this OS muscle I mean I post so many videos about this OS muscle and it's really important when people come in and I start working on that like the stomach people say no 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 I have a lower back pain please focus on my lower back pain and I'm saying your lower back pain is problem is here mm -hmm. so how to find it this muscle it's a uh, anterior secretary bone and your uh, button navel and your navel and all you need to do just like right in the halfway so in the halfway a lot of people buy in the, those uh, plastic stuff or whatever and they start like lean on it it's really painful so the real is like five degree angle so it's not really like 90 degrees it's lower mm -hmm. five ten degrees and with every breath he start taking it I'm lower my hand down so guys if you do on your own uh, sometimes people put the kettlebell on it follow the breath so inhale and let it go on exhale if you guys go and do against the breath in it's gonna be painful so now we're gonna dig all the way down there and how's it feel Do you feel anything you feel any pain Sometimes you feel shooting to your lower back. Sometimes it's shooting uh, down the legs. Sometimes it is, for the man, it's just shooting right to the testicles. And that's uh, really uncomfortable. People sometimes freaked out, like, oh, something in my testicle. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you just have to let them know. It might be something shooting to your leg, to your lower back, or to the testicle. So, is that yeah right there okay so i found the spot he's it's really a little bit sensitive for, for for i'm just gonna hold it and when he breathe in i'm not doing anything when he's breathe out i'm just kind of a little bit more dig and this is how we work on os muscles it's a soul muscle it's really important because it's controlled your hips it's a bunch of muscle up there but this is really important muscle to work on and uh if you have a lower back pain and uh, your hip is out and the therapist not working on this muscle, uh, I'm not sure if you're gonna get success on your treatment. So this muscle have to be done, have to be balanced, have to be worked on. And uh, don't rush this, the, the treatment, because if you do, it's gonna be painful for your customer. All right, and um, if this is the girl, you can uh, person you can go work through the sheets. It's unnecessary to work on skin to skin. I just uh, show this for the camera purpose. And if you're not sure you on this muscle, you're gonna ask your customer. Uh, just bring the leg up here, and it's gonna pops up right under your arm. Like here we go. And this is really tight muscle. Can you feel that? Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's really really tight muscle for the ilia okay so david also here he's doing for how long you've been doing therapy uh, i could say 25 years 25 years 10 years more than me i do 15 years almost 15 and tell me what you do with lower back pain so this is i definitely do this muscle here so i'm going to do so as major and so i have a there's a protocol that a lot of therapists i don't know how many of them they do but i do every muscle related to the entire lower back so this is the so as major and sometimes the iliacus which is in underneath in this hip bone here and then I'm going to do his quads. I'm going to do all the quads. I'm going to do his glutes. I include the IT band also. I do it the paraspinals. Mm -hmm. And I throw in the quadratus lumborum in there too. I do all the glutes. Yes. Paraformis, all the deep, deep muscles in the glute and the hamstrings. Yes. And sometimes, uh, this is, was my case, I have a lower back pain and a uh, long time ago, and I don't know what the hell is going on with me. I always pain, mm -hmm. I went to the therapist and uh, they can't find out. And what's happened to me, the one chiropractor, 
He put me on the side position and dig in right my gluteus medius. He just dig in there and I feel that right in my lower back. So this is another the point in your gluteus medius on the side position. I will do this demonstrate on Ilya and he release it right away. I mean, I really they feel like that's the spot. And I always um, I always try to work on that spot too. I'm, I'm not working on IT band, like you said, because I believe it's a tendons, right. but I'm the Tasha Fascia Latte uh, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, the Gluteus Medius. I always work. But to remember, guys, if you just come for, from like therapy, you get up and you just go do your same routine over and over again and you not do any correction exercise, everything go back to, uh, to your pattern. And that's pattern. And that's what the problem. So you need to do correction training, correction exercise, whatever people call it, but correction training. You need to retrain your, your pattern. You need to retrain your brain, how to sit right and uh, use other muscles, not just a specific group of muscle. And that's, that's the problem. So come back, come back to us only for maintenance once a month and do those training exercise. And you're going to be live happy life and less pain in your life so okay and we continue work on Ilya this is like really tight muscle mm. All right. I'll just say a couple jokes up here so that's why <laughs> Ilya is laughing so what I did I just finished the work on this OS uh, probably like that was five six minutes now I want to activate all those muscles what I'm gonna ask, uh, I'm gonna grab that ankle really gently right on this Achilles tendon and uh, what I'm gonna do, put on the top, the other line on the top and start pulling Ilya, that hip, right? So I feel that pulling good now and I'm gonna ask him to hip hike your hip. So basically what you're gonna do like a penguin walk, you're gonna pull that hip towards your ear. Yeah, and you see he's doing this great Great, great pulling and let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, <laughs> whatever that song is, Frozen, right? Mm -hmm. I watched three times with my nieces, it's crazy, <laughs> Disney and whatever, the dream of Disney. Yeah, Disney. Yeah, they, uh, they make really, really, what's the call, let it go, let it go, mm -hmm, good. <laughs> Uh, addictive cartoons you watch once and you keep watching them mm -hmm. and let it go uh-huh let it go see he keep he keep doing this there we go also it's a good idea to work on his uh, quadriceps like David said and let it go okay this is the perfect you can also a little bit mobilize his ankle and let's see what we did let's see if we uh, change that hip and if I place my two fingers on this anterior sacred iliac bone and just like I said, a little bit below, look at this. It's perfect, perfect level. Can you come up mm -hmm. and show them? We'll just prove that. Here we go. This is amazing. So we all activate, uh, we open this area. Now the hip is dropped down what we need to do we need to teach them and show a couple couple training uh, exercise for for this hip for balancing hip okay i'm gonna take this sheet away hey natalie hey. we without mask today so you can remove your mask people go to the do you want me to pause that yeah this guys is a uh, good training for you it's uh for this balancing hips if keep hips on balance you guys can tell to your clients to do it's called uh, bicycle and you ask the client bring the legs up just like that and what you do you see you put between the legs like this now you're gonna ask your customer to push this leg towards himself and that way so he's gonna create his corner force uh-huh don't break my stick okay <laughs> so you see what I'm trying to say push uh, or if he don't understand this, I will show you without a stick. So you're gonna place one arm up here, another one arm below, okay? And I'm gonna teach him too, so I'm gonna show him. What we wanna do, you're gonna resist to my, to my push and pull, okay? 
So I'm gonna push this one down, you resist me, and I push this one towards you, you push, you, you resist me. So you create that corner force. All right, let's do it. So push, 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 push. You feel that? Okay, and after you can switch. So you can switch and you come up up here. And hold on, I did this way. Now I have to do this way. And what you do, and you see, I can feel this one is weaker. Can you feel that? Yes. This is perfect. So now it's time to get that stick in and he can do that by himself. So raise this up. So I have to be, legs have to be 90 degrees up here. Here we go. Now push. Uh -huh. Your head is gonna stay neutral. Don't injure yourself because you can injure in this position. Always stay neutral. Yes, and this is great. And now you're gonna switch. So you're gonna hip down right here. And this one is coming right in here, perfect. All right. And sometimes you're gonna feel that pop, pop. And that's good stuff. All right, how's it feel? And this is gonna balance in your hips. Actually, we should, we should do this in the beginning and just, just do that stick and you will see that the hips is gonna start changing. So we talk about lower back pain today all the time. The next one, you can train him um, to activate those uh, hip flexors, sometimes not work. We can, we can check actually. We can raise this leg up and ask him to resist me and I'm gonna push down. So resist and you can see it's a little bit weak. Let's say this one, uh -huh. push down and that one is actually weaker. So resistant bands, $1. You can place right on those legs and their ankles and ask client raise really slowly, hold it up here and let it go. So just raise one Mississippi, go down very slowly, raise another one. So you can you can do a uh, train this way. Try to keep it straight, neutral ankle, and this is great training. And also, guess what? You can you can also work on those PSOS when he's doing that hip flexors. So this is the great. Always have those bands if you massage therapist by your by your side, and you can apply on any muscles and uh, that's gonna help uh-huh and the next one you can just go to the side and always touch the floor you can do it on the floor here we go it's gonna give you a lot of power yeah activation keep your head neutral because yeah you don't want to injure try to switch a lot of leg yeah and very no worries it's just a sheet and up very slowly. This is only five pounds band. You can use eight pounds, 10 pounds, and this is gonna help a lot, okay? The next one is the same thing. Uh, it's called bicycle, but with resistant bands, you put right on your ankle. And what you're doing, you're just gonna bring this leg right in here, hold it, and let it go and switch. So this is really great exercise. If you have a serious injury with your lower back sciatica, start doing those uh, training because you don't need to get up you don't need to uh, put a lot of weights on and this is going to recover how's it feel mm -hmm. yeah he can feel it like i said now i can, can work yeah i can work on those muscles look if you work and i'm attached i can feel that it's so powerful right now right under my arm okay so it's really good to work on it okay and boom boom you can pause that.